Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, let's take a look at setting up a Yeroi software wallet. Whether you're waiting on your hardware wallet to come in or you have no intention of using a hardware wallet, a Yeroi software wallet can be a great option to manage your coins. Let's take a look together. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to want to do is come to cardano.org. We'll go to individuals and we'll click on Yeroi wallet and that will take us to the Yeroi site. So here we are on the Yeroi wallet website. We're gonna to come to download. We're gonna select the browser that we're using. Um, I'm on Brave, so I'm gonna select Chrome because Brave is built on top of Chrome. It's gonna take us here to the Chrome web store. We're gonna click on add to Brave. We're gonna click on add extension. And there we go, Yeroi has been added to Brave. So, so far, so good. So now we can click on this icon or we can come to our extension manager and click on Yeroi. We're gonna go ahead and select our language. We'll go with English. Take a moment and read through this term of service agreement. We're gonna skip it for now, but you should read through it. So I'm gonna agree with terms of use and continue. Okay, in terms of the wallet types, we'll go with simple. And this is about Cardano payment URLs. We can set these up later, so let's skip them for now. And we're gonna confirm that, yeah, we're skipping the payment URL setup for now. So here we are on the main dashboard. From here, we can either connect to a hardware wallet, we can create a Yeroi software wallet, or we can restore a previous Yeroi software wallet. And our goal is to create a Yeroi software wallet, so let's go to Create Wallet. Okay, we're making a Cardano wallet. We want to create a wallet. So now we can name this wallet whatever you want. Any meaningful name will work. We're just gonna call it Yeroi Software Wallet, but this can be anything you'd like. And then you wanna give it a secure spending password. This will be the password that you're going to use whenever you're going to do any transactions that require that the private keys be involved, such as sending your ADA to another address or delegating to a stake pool. So you wanna select a secure password. Okay, once you've entered your password twice, you wanna click on create personal wallet. All right, so this part's really important. Here on the following screen, we'll see a set of 15 random words. This is our wallet's backup phrase. It can be entered in any version of your ROI in order to back up or restore the wallet's funds and private key. So this is super important. They're now going to present us with 15 words in a particular order. And these 15 words are what's used to create the private keys for our wallet. The good thing about this is if for any reason either our computer dies or our browser extension has some kind of a problem and you need to reinstall it, all you need to do is get your 15 words and you can restore your wallet and it'll recreate an identical set of private keys all of your addresses will be associated with it and you'll have access to all of your funds again. So a really, really simple process. And if you're curious about the restore process and you wanted to see how it works, check out our previous video on restoring a Yeroi software wallet. But the thing to keep in mind here is that because it's such a simple process, remember that anybody who has access to your 15 words can then restore a Yeroi wallet and have an identical set of private keys created as if they were you. So it is critically important that you write these 15 words down, that you store them in a secure place, and you make sure that nobody can get access to them. And additionally, what I'll say is, when we talk about writing the words down and keeping them secure, what we mean is actually physically writing them down and writing down multiple copies. A good rule of thumb is to make three copies of your 15 words on three separate pieces of paper and storing them in different secure locations in case something happens to one of those physical copies, you still have the backups to work with, okay? So here we're going to say, we're gonna make sure that nobody's looking at our screen unless we want them to have access to our funds. Because again, if they see the words, they can restore the Yoroi wallet as if they were us and it's totally indistinguishable. So I'm gonna say yes and I'm gonna continue. So here are our 15 words. Now I know, I just told you, make sure nobody can see your words and we're broadcasting it live here on YouTube. But we're just gonna create this wallet to show you how it works and we're gonna delete it immediately after. But for you, make sure nobody can see it and you store it in a safe place. So go ahead and pause the video here, write down these 15 words in order, three times, once on each of your three sheets of paper. We're gonna do the same, and then when you're done, we'll meet back here. Okay, so now that we've written down our 15 words, we're gonna say, yes, I've written them down. Okay, and now what it's gonna to want to do is it wants us to confirm back the 15 words in order. Once again, I know I'm saying this a lot, but it's so important that we understand that these 15 words will never be presented to us again. If we lose them, there is no way to recover these words. So to be extra sure, what they want us to do now is to repeat those 15 words in order back to your Roy to make sure that we've written them down correctly so we can use them to restore in the future if we need to. So again, go ahead and pause the video, enter your 15 words in order. We'll do the same and then we'll meet back here. Okay, so we're gonna select our last word. All right, so now 
Once again, I understand that my secret keys are held securely in this device only and not on the company's server. So there's no way they can get it back to us, right? We're the only ones that have access to this and this is the only time that they're ever gonna be presented. I understand that if this application is moved to another device or deleted, my money can only be recovered with the backup phrase that I have written down and saved in a secure place. So we can only recover it with these words and there's no way for anyone else to ever send them to us again. We only get them right now. So if we understand all of that, we'll hit confirm. And that takes us into our Euroi software wallet that we've now created. If we take a quick look around, we can see a list of our transactions. We can send our ADA to another address once we've gotten it. We can receive ADA onto this address. If you're curious about the process of how to take your ADA off of the exchange and send it here to your Euroi wallet, check out our previous video on removing your ADA from the exchange. We also see here we have a section for voting. So registration has ended right now for fund three. But the next time another round of Catalyst funds opens up, we'll be able to vote on those straight from our Euroi wallet. And then we have the delegation list of pools that we can delegate to. We can just go down the list and pick one, or we can search for one. So for example, our Aspen stake pool. So I'll stop here and say, if you appreciate the work we do and you want to support the channel, consider delegating to our Aspen stake pool, which we'll link down below. So a couple of other things. We see here some general settings. And this claim and transfer section is for previous era wallets sending things over. This probably won't apply to most of you if you're just now getting started with Euroi. We tried to put together a nice concise video for you here on solely just how to set up the Euroi wallet. But if you would like a little bit of a slower pace and a deeper dive into Euroi, check out our previous video on setting up Euroi from scratch. Or if you already feel comfortable with Euroi and you're ready to start delegating your ADA, check out our other video on selecting the right stake pool for you. We'll see you in the next video.